Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the Campus Manager account and what are the prerequisites before you can log into the Campus Manager and interact with the teachers. So before we begin, go to your desktop and locate the browser of your preference. It can be Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome. You can locate it on the desktop like we have Mozilla Firefox or maybe it can be Internet Explorer which is usually located on the taskbar or on the desktop. Now double click on the Mozilla Firefox. After you double click on Mozilla Firefox you will have a window like this or something like this. This is the address bar. So the first prerequisite uh, for your campus manager account is that you need a valid email address. If you already have a valid email address then you are good to go and you can skip this portion. But if you don't have an email address you need to have get one. You can get an email address from various email providers like gmail.com. ymail.com or it can be live.com you can sign up or maybe I can say you can register on any of these so that you can get a valid email address so after you open gmail.com you will be presented with something like this and on the bottom it says create an account click on create an account after you have clicked on create an account you, you will have a form to be filled in. At first you have the first name and the last name. Enter your first and the last name. For example I am going to type in Shahid and at the last name I am going, going to type Khan. And now choose a username. Username is basically the name of the account you are going to give to your email. So for this example I am going to write Shahid Khan DPS at gmail.com and then you have to choose a password. Password is usually something text or something which you use to authorize yourself so that you can log into your email account. Make sure that you remember your password and don't forget it. Now enter your birth date and your gender and enter your phone number. This phone number is necessary at Gmail so that you can verify your account later on. And this is the CAPTCHA. CAPTCHA or maybe I can say in simpler words the code that you have to type. Type it exactly as it is shown at the image above. Here it says 107-3525-6555. And then scroll down and click on I agree to the Google Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. Click on this checkbox and click on next step. After you have clicked on next step, you will be, you know, uh, prompted to enter a phone number so that you can verify your number. Select your country as India and enter your phone number over here and click on voice call and continue. After you click on continue, you will be prompted, you know, you will be called by gmail.com team and they will tell you your verification code and then which you are going to enter later after click on continue. After you have created your gmail account successfully, log into your gmail account by going to gmail.com and enter your email id over here in this dialog box in this text area in my case it would be mufti arfan and on the dialog or the text field below it enter your password that you chose earlier while registering or creating your newly new gmail account and click on sign in now you are good to go so that you can log into your campus manager and reset your password and verify your email address and so on. Now the basic scheme, the default user scheme of campus manager is as follows. The username would be the first name of a ward. In my case it would be Mufti and then followed by the SID of a ward. In my case it would be 2421 and the password scheme is your SID, the SID of your ward at, remember the symbol at, and then the date of birth of your ward. It would be like 20, that is the day your ward was born, and the 11, the month in which your ward was born, and then the year. 
enter those you know, specifications, username and password over here. Enter username, in my case 2421, and the password. It will be in this format, SID2421 at date of birth of your ward. Remember this symbol, at symbol in the password. Then click on login. After you click on log, login, you will be prompted to verify and provide a valid email ID. Remember, this is a very important step in Campus Manager. Without a valid email address and without a verified email address, you cannot proceed ahead and use the Campus Manager and then, you know, interact with teachers and the staff members. Enter the newly created email ID uh, here, over here. After you entered your valid email ID over here that you registered or you already had, click on update email. After you clicked on update email, something, uh, a text like something, this would pop up or you know, uh, come over the page. It will say mail sent your email ID, then the email ID you provided for verifying your account. Please check your inbox. Now go to the provider uh, that you registered your email on and you will have an email address uh, by dpsreader.com with the subject line of verify your email address. Click on it. It would say something like this. You recently added a new email address to your campus manager account or initiated verification and so on. At the end of the email address, it would say to verify your email, click on the link below. Click on this link that the email says you to click on. After you have clicked on this email address, you will be prompted to log on, log in. Remember, now, or now you can you know, log into your account. Before that, if you have not verified or added a valid email address to your account, you cannot log in or proceed ahead. Log in with the same you know, username and the password. This same format. First name of your board, then the SID. Click on www.dpcnl.com. Thank you for the and I'm going to the tutorial and I